Hello everyone, welcome to my channel study time. So today we will begin with the poem named The Frog and the Nightingale by Vikram Seed. So let's begin. Once upon a time, a frog croaked away in Bengal bog. What's a Bengal bog? Bengal bog. Bengal is the name of the bog and the bog is an area of land that is very wet and muddy. Every night from dusk to dawn, he croaked. On and on and on. Ye on and on and on. Jo hai, ye on hai. O n wala on. Misspelled or mispronounced as, uh, mispronounced as on. So that it rhymes with dawn, right? The poet is telling about a frog who lived in a marshy land called Bengal Bog. To wahan par ek mendak rehta tha. The frog croaked all through the night from sunset till sun shine. Dusk to dawn ka matlab hota hai. From sunset till sun rise it croaked non-stop and to emphasize the continuity of his sound the poet repeats the word on thrice next here is other creatures loathed his voice but alas they had no choice and the crass cacophony blared out from the sumac tree at whose foot the frog it each night mistrust on till morning जितने भी क्रिएटर्स वहां पे रहते थे उसकी आवाज को हेट करते थे लोथ मीन्स हेट बट अलास दे हैड नो चॉइस उनके पास कोई चॉइस नहीं थी एंड द क्रास कोहोफनी कोकाफनी मीन्स इट्स गिवन हेयर अ वेरी लाउड एंड अनप्लेजेंट नॉइस बहुत ही गंदी और रूड इंसेंसिटिव वॉइस वो निकालता था ब्लेयर्ड आउट मीन्स टू अनाउंस लाउडली बहुत तेज तेज फ्रॉम द सोमैक्ट्री सोमैक्ट्री इस तरह का दिखता है यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर तो इस तरह का होता है सोमैक्ट्री एट हुज फुड द फ्रॉग ईच नाइट तो हर रात वो वहां पर गाना गाता था टिल मॉर्निंग नाइट द अदर क्रिएटर्स इन द बेंगल बॉक दिस लाइक द हार्श एंड अनप्लेजेंट साउंड मेड बाय द फ्रॉग दे कुड डू नथिंग अबाउट इट एंड द रूड एंड द लाउड साउंड मेड बाय द फ्रॉग कुड बी हर्ड एज इट क्रोक्ड सिटिंग एट द फुट ऑफ द ट्री कॉल्ड सुमैक इट क्रोक्ड कॉन्टिन्यूसली थ्रू आउट द नाइट Neither stones nor prayers nor sticks, insults or complaints or bricks stilled the frog's determination to display its heart's elation. See, itta kuch kia jo wahan pe jo creatures rehte the, the creatures of the bog tried different ways to stop the frog. They hit it with stones, bricks, sticks. Uski insult ki, complain ki against it. Even prayed before it to stop making the unpleasant sound but they were unsuccessful as a frog was determined to sing usko koi farak hi nahi padta tha as it was proud of its unique voice to wo usko ek joy aur ek pride milti thi to display his heart's elation to wo usko rokne wala koi nahi tha us pe koi cheez ka koi effect nahi hota tha But one night, a nightingale in the moonlight, cold and pale, perched upon the sumac tree, casting forth her melody. But in one night, a such a night, which was a nightingale, came in the moonlight, cold and pale. Moonlight is moon, very uh, cold, 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 The sky is full of moonlight. The weather was cold and everything seemed dull. Pale means dull. Okay. Uh, perched upon the sumac tree, nightingale sat on the branch of the sumac tree and sang in it melodious voice. Casting forth means to emit or to send out her melody. Dumb struck. Dumb struck means so shocked and surprised uh, as to unable to speak. Sat the gasping. फ्रॉग सॉरी गैपिंग फ्रॉग तो वहां पर जो फ्रॉग है वो एकदम डम स्ट्रक हो गया एंड द होल एडमायरिंग बॉग एवरी वन वॉज एडमायरिंग इट स्टार्टेड टू वर्ड्स द सुमार्क रैप रैप मीन्स टोटली इंटरेस्टेड वे एंड वेन शी हैड एंडेड क्लैप्ड एवरी वन क्लैप्ड फॉर हर डग्स हैड स्वम एंड हैरॉन्स वेडेड सो जो डग्स है वो भी अपना जो जिस पानी में थी और जो वाटर बर्ड्स थी वो भी वहां से पैडल कर कर बाहर आ गई वेडिड का मतलब होता है टू पैडल टू मूव आउट टू मूव थ्रू सो टू हर एज शी 
serenaded means sang beautifully the frog was shocked to hear the melodious voice of the nightingale it was unable to speak all the creatures of the bengal bog appreciated the song they clapped and praised it and the song ended ducks and herons swam and came near the sumac tree to hear it as the nightingale sang beautifully and a solitary loon solitary means to be single and alone loon means a large water bird okay uh, wept beneath the summer moon to so, just started crying toads and teals and tiddlers captured toads means small frogs teals a small duck and tiddlers means small fishes and by her voice cheered and enraptured means filled with fascination and delight bravo to divine and core so the nightingale once मोर एंड कोर मीन सिंग सम सिंग सम मोर वो चाहते थे कि वो और गाय और गाय अ लार्ज वाटर बर्ड केम लून हु वॉज अ लोन फेल्ट इमोशनल और हियरिंग द नाइटिंग ईयर्स मेलाडियस सॉन्ग इट स्टार्टेड वीपिंग बैक्ट मीन्स वीपिंग एज द नाइटिंग ईयर सैंग थ्रू द नाइट एंड द मून इन द स्काई समर मून मीन्स दैट इट वॉज द समर सीजन वेन द मून इज कंपेरेटिवली लोवर इन द स्काई इवन द टाइनी क्रिएचर्स लाइक द स्मॉल फ्रॉक्स डक्स एंड स्मॉल फिशेज वर अट्रैक्टेड टू द मिलेडियस वॉयस एंड चेयर to sing more they cheered the nightingale by saying that it was a brave bird its song was heavenly and asked it to sing more to divine means it was a heavenly song quite unused to such applause itni praise usse kabhi mili hi nahi thi she was not used to all that sang till dawn without a pause to wo subah tak gaati rahi next night when the nightingale shukar had entwisted her tail closed an eye and fluffed her wing and had cleared her throat to sing uh twitch means to give a sudden jerk or a movement the nightingale had never received appreciation and it was so happy that it sang continuously till sunrise the next night it again prepared to sing it shook its head jerked its tail closed an eye to concentrate on the song and fluffed its wings before started the song it cleared its throat also she was startled by a croak sorry was that you who spoke she inquired when the frog hopped hopped towards her from the bog yes the frog replied ab to ekdam se wo startled ho gayi jaise hi frog ki awaaz usko sunai di matlab startled means showing a sudden shock the bird was interrupted by the croak sound of the frog as it hopped towards the nightingale it asked the frog whether it was the frog who spoke the frog replied that it was his sound the frog ne bola yes it was the frog did you did you like my song not too bad but far too long the technique was fine of course but it lacked the certain force to ye wo puchti hai humble bird asked the frog if it liked her song the frog replied that it wasn't bad but it was very long further it comments on her skill and says that the method of singing was fine but her voice lacked फोर्स उसकी जो टेक्निक थी दैट वॉज फाइन बट उसकी जो आवाज में फोर्स नहीं थी इट लैक द सर्टन फोर्स यू सी आई एम द फ्रॉग हु ओन्स दिस ट्री इन दिस बॉग आई हैव बीन आई हैव लॉन्ग बीन known for my splendid baritone and of course I wield my pen for bog trumpet now and then the frog jo hai apne aap ko introduce kar raha hai to the nightingale as the owner of the sumac tree on whose branch the bird was sitting at singing further it said it was famous uh, it was famous in the bog for singing its in its unique deep voice theek hai baritone means a uh, uh, male singing voice fairly a very deep voice and it also wrote occasionally for the bog trumpet to wo kehta hai ki wo uh, gaane ke siwa wo likhne ka bhi kaam karta hai that's not much to boast about raise oneself okay uh, said the heartless frog without proper training such as i and few others can supply you will remain a mere beginner but with you uh, with me you will be a winner to wo usko kya keh raha hai the frog scolds the birds for being proud and it is harsh towards the birds and belittles it by saying that it lacks training which only a few masters like the frog can give to apne aap ko hi appreciate kar de the frog also says that without the training the bird will remain just a beginner all its life and if it wanted to become a winner a perfect singer then it had to learn from him to usne bola ki nightingale ko ki tumhe mujhse seekhna padega otherwise tum ek beginner hi reh jaogi lekin agar tum mere saath rahogi to tum ek winner ban jaogi 
ओ द नाइट इक गिल कन्फेस्ड तो वो मान जाती है उसकी बात ग्रेटली फ्लैटर्ड एंड इम्प्रेस हैप्पी और प्लीज होती है उससे इम्प्रेस्ड हो जाती है इन्फ्लुएंस हो जाती है दैट अ क्रिटिक ऑफ सच नोट अ पर्सन हु जज इज द मैरिट ऑफ आर्टिस्टिक वर्क एंड डिस्कस्ड हर आर्ट एंड थ्रोट आई डोंट थिंक द सॉन्ग्स डिवाइन बट ओ वेल एट लीस्ट इट्स माइंड तो वो मान जाती है कि उसका गाना कोई हैवनली नहीं है लेकिन एटलीस्ट वो उसका अपना है The Nightingale confessed that her singing was not up to the mark. It was happy that such an expert musician had analyzed her song and her voice. It was impressed by the frog's style. The bird consoles itself that even if her song is not heavenly, at least it is her own composition. Dearest frog, the nightingale breathed, "This is a fairy tale, and you are a Mozart in disguise. Come to earth before my eyes." तो उससे बहुत ही ज़्यादा वो क्या हो गई है? Impress हो गई है. The nightingale praises the frog in comparison to the most famous musician Mozart. Now it's a name of a very talented musician. It says that this is like a fairy tale, a dream come true, that such an accomplished singer is present before her. वेल आई चार्ज अ मॉडेस्ट फी तो वो उसको कुछ फ्री में तो देने नहीं वाला लेकिन वो उसे फीस लेने वाला है ओ बट इट वोंट हर्ट यूल सी नाउ द नाइटिंग इल इज इंस्पायर फ्लश्ड विथ कॉन्फिडेंस एंड फायर विद बोथ आर्ट एंड एडोरेशन फ्लश मीन्स इट वॉज वेरी एक्साइटेड एंड प्लीज विथ कॉन्फिडेंस एंड फायर विद बोथ आर्ट एंड एडोरेशन एडोरेशन मीन्स स्ट्रॉन्ग एडमायरेशन तो सैंग एंड वॉज अ ह्यूज सेंसेशन मीन्स वाइड स्प्रेड रिएक्शन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एंड एक्साइटमेंट तो बहुत ही ज्यादा एक्साइटेड है वो तो फ्रॉक टेल द नाइटिंग इट दैट इट वॉज इट विल टीच हर द स्किल बट विल charge a small fee it assures her that the amount will be small and paying it will not be tough for the bird the nightingale regains its confidence and takes inspiration from the frog's consent it is full of talent talent and admiration for the frog with this new found confidence it sang well the bird's music become famous and creatures from far off places were attracted to it एनिमल्स फ्रॉम फॉर माइल्स अराउंड फ्लॉक टूवर्ड्स द मैजिक साउंड तो दूर दूर से उससे उसका गाना सुनने के लिए जो है एनिमल्स आने लगे एंड द फ्रॉक विद ग्रेट प्रसिशन मीन्स एग्जैक्ट एंड एक्यूरेट काउंटेड हेड्स एंड चार्ज एडमिशन तो वो उससे इन चीजों की फीस भी लेने लगा दो नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग इट वॉज रेनिंग बिगैन हर वोकल ट्रेनिंग So animals gather from far off places to hear a magical song of the nightingale. The frog organized concerts and charged an admission fee from all the creatures who came to hear the bird's song. The next morning kya hoti hai? After the concert, uh, concert it was raining. The next morning it was raining and the bird did not want to sing. The frog insisted and commenced her training. लेकिन frog उसकी training start कर देता है. But I can't sing in this weather. Come, my dear, we'll sing together. Just put on your scarf and sash. Kuha, kuash, kuash. So, despite the nice tingle's refusal to sing in the rainy weather, the frog forces it to sing. It asks her to cover her head with a scarf to save herself from the rain and to wear a sash. It is a long piece of cloth that you wear around the waist or over the shoulder, usually as a badge of honor. Okay, uh, given to her as she joined his music class, both sing and song. Who are who hush who hush. So, इस तरह से उसे कहता है कि अपना scarf पहन लो, अपना sash पहन लो और तुम गाना गाओ. So the frog and nightingale journeyed up and down the scale for six hours till she was shivering and her voice was hoarse and quivering. So, इस तरह से दोनों ही गाना गाने लगते हैं और scale का मतलब होता है sequence of musical note that go up and down. ठीक है तो इस तरह से वो अपनी प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं द फ्रॉग एंड नाइटिंग इल कॉन्टिन्यूड सिंगिंग फॉर सिक्स आवर्स दिस हैंग डिफरेंट म्यूजिकल नोट फ्रॉम हाई टू लो एंड वाइसी वर्सा बट द एंड ऑफ द क्लास The poor bird was trembling, shivering completely, and her voice became rough and shaky due to singing in an unpleasant weather and for such a long time. Though subdued and sleep deprived, in the night her throat revived, and the sumac tree was bowed with the breathless tidal crowd. Uh, sorry, uh, owl of sandwich, duck of net, uh, Kent, mallard, and my lady trend. Uh, subdued का मतलब होता है quiet. 
एंड स्लीप डिप्राइव मीन्स नॉट गेटिंग इन अप ऑफ समथिंग उसकी नींद पूरी नहीं हो रखी थी इन द नाइट हर थ्रोट रिवाइव कुछ थोड़ा इम्प्रूव हुआ एंड द सुमेक ट्री वॉज बोर्ड द सुमेक ट्री ऑन हुज ब्रांड द नाइटिंग सैड एंड सैंग इन इट्स मेलोडियस वॉइस वॉज क्राउडेड एंड इट सीम दैट इट हैड बेंट एज अ मार्क ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट टू द रॉयल गैदरिंग विच हैड कम फॉर द कॉन्सर्ट द रॉयल क्रिएचर्स दैट हैड कम for the owl of sandwich the duck of can mallard and my lady of trent the poet has added the name of animals like owl duck mallard to the names of historical figures like arall of sandwich duke of can my lord and my lady of trent to show that a titled crowd had gathered the poet wants to say that a royal crowd had gathered to hear the melodious bird to ye jitne bhi yahan par the words used hue hain ye ek royal crowd ko show karne ke liye use kiye gaye hain Martin Cardinal Mapfisto and the Court of Monte Cristo ladies with tiaras glittering in the interval sat twittering and the frog observed them glittering with a joy both sweet and bitter so the crowd included Martin Cardinal Mapfisto and the Court of Monte Cristo all the royal ladies were wearing tiaras which were full of shining metal and precious stones they talked with each other It's written there, and the interval sat twittering. जब interval हुआ तो they were chatting with each other, and they talked with each other during the interval of the concert. The frog saw the royal gathering, which had come to hear the nightingale's song. He had a mixed feeling of happiness and jealousy. वो कहीं ना कहीं खुश था, कहीं ना कहीं jealous भी था. He was happy as a huge crowd meant monetary gain, and he was jealous of the nightingale's fame, as his song had never got so much, a uh, such an exceptional. audience every day the frog would sold her songs for 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 silver try to scold her you must practice even longer till your voice like mine grows stronger in the second song last night you got nervous in mid flight itne acha crowd hone ke bawajood bhi itna acha gana gaane ke baad bhi frog kabhi use appreciate nahi karta tha hamesha uski galti nikalta tha the greedy frog earned a lot of money by selling tickets in the nightingale's concert still he scolded the poor bird and showed it down by saying that it was its voice was not not strong enough and that it needed to practice more he also pointed out her mistake and said that the previous night during the second song she had got nervous in the middle of the song mid flight ka means in the middle of the song and my dear leon mortals audience enjoy such frills you must make your public happier give them something sharp or snappy We must aim for better billings. You still owe me sixty shillings. So, who the frog orders the nightingale to use fancy notes in her song so that the audience enjoys it more and more. Creatures gather to hear her sing. The frog wants her to please the audience and use sharp notes, sing snappy song, and uh, which are liked by them. He wants her to aim at earning more and more money. He reminds her that she still owes him sixty shillings. But he is referring to the fee that she must pay him for the music training. So he says that now you have to pay me sixty shillings. So you have to pay me more money. 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 अब नाइटिंगेल खुश नहीं थी डे बाय डे वो बहुत ज्यादा सोरोफुल थी और पेल होती जा रही थी नाइट और नाइट हर टायर्ड सॉन्ग जिप्ड एंड ट्रिल्ड एंड बाउंस्ड लॉन्ग तो बहुत जल्दी जल्दी गाती थी सैंग क्विकली एंड टिल द बर्ड्स एंड बीस ग्रो टायर्ड एट अ वॉइस सो अनइंस्पायर्ड उसकी आवाज बहुत ही अनइंस्पायर्ड हो गई थी विद ईच पासिंग डे द नाइटिंगेल बिकेम सैड एंड वीक With each passing day, the bird song reflected its tiredness and lack of interest. It sang quickly and would not enjoy singing. The songs were no longer melodious, and the creatures of the bog did not enjoy them anymore. The bird's voice did not attract crowds any longer. वो इन सब चीजों से थक गई थी. The ticket office gross crashed, and she grew more morose, miserable, bad-tempered. हो गई थी. For her ears were now at addicted to applause quite unrestricted usi aadat ho gayi thi ye sab uski praise kare and to sing into the night all alone gave no delight to akele gana raat mein usko kuch maza nahi aa raha tha there was no audience for the nightingale 
concert this made the bird sad as now she had got used to the praise for from the audience now it's no longer enjoyed singing alone all through the night now the frog puffed up with rage ab usko aa gaya gussa frog ko brainless bird you are on the stage usne bola ki tum brainless ho tumhare paas dimag nahi hai tum stage pe ho use your wits apna intelligence use karo and follow fashion puff your lungs with lungs out with your passion uh, passion means show strong emotion and to puff means take a very deep breath aur apne emotions ko strong karo as the frog's earnings stopped it got furious said the nightingale it called it a brainless bird and scolded it it said it should realize the importance of a performing on a stage and should use its intelligence it asked the bird to sing according to the choice of the audience and to follow the latest trends it forced the bird to take very deep breaths and sing with lots of force and emotions trembling terrified to fail blind with tears the nightingale heard him out in silence cried puffed up burst away and died the nightingale was trembling with fear of the frog as it had failed to perform well it cried as its eyes were full of tears he kind of blind with tears the nightingale it could not even see properly it did not oppose the frog's words it tried to take a deep breath but could not bear it as a result the nightingale died as one of the vein in its body burst to is tarah se nightingale mar jati hai said the frog i tried to teach her but she was a stupid creature isko koi farak nahi padta far too nervous far too tense far too prone to influence well poor bird she should have known that your song must be your own to wo sara blame kya kar raha hai nightingale ko hi de raha hai usko wo stupid kehta hai yani ki unintelligent and she was prone far too prone to influence means like to suffer from the frog comments on the dead nightingale bird it says that nightingale was not intelligent and that it tried to teach her also she was nervous became tense and lacked self confidence it further added that the poor bird should have sung her own song in her own way it should not have changed its style and get influenced by the frog this shows that the frog is a cheat it forced the bird into the wrong path due to the jealousy so it was all about jealousy that's why i sing with panash kua kuash kuash and the fog horn of the frog blared unrevealed through the bog panash means a very confident elegant style wo kehta hai main bad nahi style mein gaata hu and uh, and the fog horn of the frog means a very loud unpleasant voice blared ka matlab hi hota hai very loud sound unrevealed means unopposed through the bog the frogs end by saying that it had confidence in its singing talent and sang in its unique style once again the frog sang its song kua kuash kuash the frog's song could be heard all over the bengal bog and he became the unopposed singer thank you so much if you like the video kindly like share and subscribe thank you so much